Hey guys, I'm bringing you another shave today with Angora Soaps. Today's scent is Midnight Lavender, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John. If this is your first time here and you're interested in all things wet shaving, you've come to the right place. So following up on my previous video with Angora Soaps with the scent High Roller, uh, today we're gonna use another offering and that is Midnight Lavender. Also keep on watching because I'll announce the winner of the giveaway of the tub of Muir Woods from Angora Soaps in just a little bit. All right, so let's take a look at that soap. Midnight Lavender has a nice clean label. Uh, it features, you know, quite appropriately so, a field of lavender in the middle of the night just like the name of the, the name of the soap and you know clearly written text above it. All right, so let's check this out. Certainly lavender forward, but there's actually more going on here than just lavender or blend of different lavenders. Uh, I'll get into the scent notes and also we'll see if the scent changes at all during the shave. But first up, let's show you the rest of the gear I'll be using today. So as I mentioned before in my video with High Roller, there are currently not any matching splashes or post-shave with Angora soaps, although that's being worked on. So uh, being a big Lavender fan myself, I took a look at my den and thought I would pair it up with this one here by Chateau Luxe. That's pure Lavender. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued, but it's such a beautiful uh, Lavender scent and I think it'll complement this shave very well. For my razor today, we'll be going once again with the uh, EverReady 1912 Gem Razor. And one thing I forgot to mention last time is this is actually uh, chrome plated, which I think is a little bit uh, harder to find as far as these gem razors go. Uh, it gives it, you know, even though it's a very classic look with kind of the Art Deco handle, uh, the chrome finish makes it look very contemporary and modern, at least to my eyes. And the fact that it's in like immaculate clip condition certainly helps. Lastly for the brush, I had to go with something purple because lavender. Purple, that's what I associated with. So we got this dogwood handcrafts handle right here with a decoration grooming B8 knot, which has been soaking. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. I'd also like to invite you all to come check out the new Lather Talk Discord server. It's a great place to chat and hang out with your fellow wet shaving enthusiasts. All right, so as I'm doing this face lather, we'll talk more about the actual scent note breakdown. And just because I forgot to mention it, I'm working with four days worth of beer growth. All right, so the official scent notes on Angora Soap's Midnight Lavender. It is lavender, bergamot, rose, jasmine, orange blossom, sandalwood, musk, and amber. As far as what I'm getting um, to my nose is for sure a lavender forward scent. It's a scent that I'm really liking, really enjoying this. Uh, there's some citrus brightness, not sweetness, but just kind of a, a, a brightness, almost a, almost a stringency. I, I want to chalk that up to the bergamot. And I think lavender sometimes can be very soft. So it's not really too surprising that there's some other floral notes in here to kind of just boost or bolster um, that kind of you know soft floral, clean scent. Overall, you know, lavender is in charge um, for the soap, and the others, um, the other notes really are doing a good job complementing and supporting that lavender note. And Angora Soaps, this is a tallow-based formula. In my experience, it can handle a good amount of water, but it's not overly thirsty by any means. So probably of average moderate thirst. And it yields a nice, dense, creamy lather with a nice sheen. All right, so let's go with that first pass with the Gem 1912. All right, so first pass 
went really, really well. Plenty of you know, slickness for this soap. Uh, I am um, continued, you know, to be impressed by the Gem Razor. Just how, just how comfortable a shave it is. Uh, if anyone out there is curious about dabbling uh, and just trying these guys out, uh, the 1912 and all its different variations, I think is a great place to start. It's fairly easy to find the angle. It's a little different. I mean, you know, you, you essentially do want to be riding the top cap here and have it well placed, you know, like on, on your face. Uh, as opposed to riding the bottom cap, which I think it could probably give you some problems, uh, but really easy to use. Uh, I, I do find that I'm always impressed by the efficiency, uh, given you know other quote unquote milder razors uh, would have, I don't know, it just wouldn't cut down as much hair uh, in the first pass. But uh, yeah, so this one, I <laughs> continue to be impressed and really happy that I, I picked this one up. I know these are also fairly inexpensive uh, if you're not looking for a pristine version with you know, the box and the case and whatnot. Uh, it'll probably run you with shipping, maybe like around 20 bucks uh, or less, probably in the teens. Uh, you might even be able to find a shaver within the community that tried them out, didn't, didn't love it, and maybe you can get one for, uh, for a good deal that way. So if you're into this wet shaving thing as a hobbyist, as an enthusiast, and you know, I think you know, try try all the different stuff. Try the double edges, single edges, straight razors. If you uh, if you, if you can make that commitment, and definitely put gem razors on that list. You know, I was skeptical. It looked kind of foreign, kind of funky uh, at first, but uh, I'm, I'm really glad that you know I tried it. Didn't love it at first pressed on and now just going back and incorporating them into uh, the regular cycle of hardware I use. Very happy. And now to announce the winner of the Ingor Soaps Mirror Woods giveaway, I do want to thank everyone who entered for your interest in this new soap maker, but there could only have been one winner and that winner is Ben Louie. So a big congratulations to Ben. I hope you enjoyed the soap. Thank you to everyone who participated. Make sure to keep your eyes out on the channel for another giveaway. Another one is probably going to be popping up within the next few weeks. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. So now let's go back and lather up for that second pass. All right, so today, two passes is gonna do it. Really, really nice shave. Um, always happy to share these happy experiences, sing the praises of the, <laughs> of the gem razor. There are more aggressive uh, gem razors, I should mention. Uh, I do know I didn't have a good time with the Open Comb Micromatic, but some people love that razor. Also fairly easy to find and fairly affordable. And as for the Midnight Lavender scent, this one is really easy to like, I mean, you know, as long as you like lavender. Uh, I think of the floral notes, that has been one that's always been the easiest for me uh, to enjoy. Lavender sometimes can, you know, it'll make me think of just like soapy cleanness. Uh, it can have a little bit of spiciness, even like a black peppery kind of note to it. So I kind of like the different uh, the different ways that I've seen lavender go. And this one, even though it does have a lot of notes in the scent breakdown, it is unabashedly a lavender scent. So uh, definitely you know, don't confuse that, don't get scared off by it. I do think uh, this one actually can be like, you know, it can, this one too I think can be enjoyed by both men and women. Uh, and it's great to see more women wet shavers. So uh, hopefully, the scent recommendation, if you're wondering about it, it's a really easy to like lavender. Uh, yeah, that, that kind of, that, that, that brightness coming from the bergamot and, uh, and the citrus, I think really does uh, make me think a little bit of uh, another scent by Chateau and Luke's called Champ de Levant. Uh, that one is definitely more complex though. Uh, that one, the lavender, I would say is more downplayed, if anything, but just lavender and citrus, I tend to think of Champ de Levant. But as for Midnight Lavender, uh, I, I don't think it's nearly as loud or as complex a scent. So um, yeah, so give it a try if that sounds good to you. Uh, as far as the post-shave, speaking of Chateau Luke's, we have Pure Lavender, 
And this probably is one of my all-time favorites uh, from Chateau and Luke's. Again, it's unfortunately discontinued, so sorry to tease you guys like this. <laughs> I both both the scent as well as just the actual post shaves made by Chateau and Luke's have unfortunately been discontinued at the time of this recording. I think you can still find you can still find them though on the secondhand market, uh, buy sell trade forums and whatnot. Uh, two, the two that I'm usually recommending uh, on this channel are, uh, if you're active on Facebook, you can go to Wet Shave, Wet Shave Enablers. Uh, that's, people will just call that shorthand the BST, Buy, Sell, Trade. Uh, another one, if you're comfortable with Reddit or you're, you're already on there, uh, go check out the Shave Bazaar. Both uh, I found great deals on for software, hardware, what have you. Sometimes you can even find fragrances if that's your thing. And as I expected, this Pure Lavender, uh, it is it's a great compliment. I will say it, it kind of has a more uh, medicinal vibe almost, which is a way that lavender can go. So that's, that's a little bit of difference, but uh, it's definitely not clashing with um, the scent I got for Midnight, Midnight Lavender. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with how they're pairing. And as always, I wanna hear from you guys. If you're a big lavender fan, let me know some of your favorite lavender scents, whether that be in shaving, in the fragrance world, even your bath soap, because there's <laughs> lavender, it's everywhere as far as you know our, our grooming, our cleaning routines. So drop a note in the comments below if you've got a favorite lavender scent to share. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys so much for taking some time out, joining me for the shave. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.